My name is Karin. I'm from Extraordinary Fitness and today we are going to look at the Russian split. I know many of you for sure have tried it and most of the time, actually, the problem is not the trick itself. The problem is the coming in and out. So I'm going to show the split, of course, I'm going to explain it, but I'm going as well to explain to you the normal entrance and then I will show you a way where apart from having a hard time maybe to hold it, it will be easier to get into the Russian split. So you will get two entrances, two different exits, a normal one and then one which is very visual and the split by itself. So let's start. We start with the normal entrance, which is often from sitting. If you want to work on the Russian split, I strongly recommend that you condition skin the cat because the position when you go into it is similar to skin the cat. So you want to make sure that you feel comfortable in holding this position. Hands at one and 11 o'clock. And then you would go through with your knees. Often there the confusion starts. So you lift your knees under the hoop through and place one knee on the hoop. The knee, which is not going to be the foot you are placing on the hoop because you're going to take one leg through and one leg is staying there. So let me show it to you. So you're lifting up your legs. You can cross them to pass easier. And then you place one knee on the hoop like this. Now you take the foot of the leg, which is going to be in the front and step on it like this. You skip having both knees and then stepping. So it's one knee and directly the foot. You are going with your head towards your leg and fold together in a pike. And then you get this little place up here where you can take your foot through. And then you go to straighten your foot. And often what hang happens is that the people are down here. So I recommend, if you can, that you push your hip higher up. And one more thing, if you go towards your, um, towards the outside hand, the hand where your back leg is, you actually have less stability than if you lean a little bit against the hand which holding your front leg. So same hand like your front head, leg, you lean a bit against there, you will feel much more secure. And then you look down, press your chest through and hang there. So coming out, fold again, and you set your leg in and you can come back to hug. So that was the easy going into it and exit. When you exit it, make sure that you are folding together again so you don't get the hoop by slipping off the foot or something in your face. This is the Russian split by itself. One more time. Have your hands up here, go through it, place one knee on the hoop and there comes the skin the cat in. You could see the position is kind of, you are hanging there. So you want to have conditioned a little bit skin the cat so you feel sure to hold it there because you have to kind of look down, see the bar, place your knee there. And if you're not strong enough to go through with your body in a skin the cut way, you will not really feel secure and kind of dump into it. And that's often most of the time what the people feel a problem with when they do the Russian split. They feel like I don't feel comfortable to come into it. And that's because you don't have the strength to go down slowly. So work on that. Um, once you place one knee, you take the foot, which is going to be your front leg. For me, it's the left one. Step on it fold together into a pike and then you can look up. You actually see here and you can take your leg through and push it back. And then make sure you come into a nice straight line. Um, yeah, and for coming out, fold together again. You can see the upper part place in your knee and then take the other knee through or continue to where you want to go. I will show you now another entrance, which in one way is almost easier because already hanging there. The only thing is that you will need enough strength in your hand because you're hanging quite long in this kind of behind your back position. So make sure you have enough hand grip and you have a good, strong enough grip to do two tricks in a row. And then I will as well show you the exit. So let's go for it. So first of all, same again, one and 11 o'clock, hands 11 and one o'clock. You can check my previous tutorial about this drop split because we are going from there into the Russian split. In that tutorial, I've been telling you that I will continue with the Russian split and show you that one. So here it is now. Now you can connect these two. So go to the strop split, check it out. Um, I will just shortly go through it. So put your knees up here, cross one leg, slide it down, place the other way in the sling and do the strop split. And then from there, you actually just place your foot down and you fold together and you're ready coming into the Russian split. From there, 
you take the leg which is in the back here and you place it on the hoop so you go from the outside around your arm and place it on the hoop um, you have to place it between quarter two and 12 so quite close to your hand then you are going to straighten that leg you have to make sure that you can turn your foot because it will turn a bit so you place that leg you take your other leg and you thread it through into a hanging position and then you can take it down you will need a little bit more height this was the russian split one time from a normal entrance second time from a strop split you go into it by just taking the leg which is up in the strop placing it down on the hoop and then folding together threading through the other leg like you did before into the russian split and then by coming out the leg which is in the back you go around the arm place it somewhere between quarter two and 12 o'clock and then you folding taking your hips down threading the other leg through the hoop the hands stay in the same position at all times Send me your try of it. If you have any questions, if you need any pointers, feel free to send me a video. I will be happy to answer any question. And if you like my tutorials, give me a thumb up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, find me on social media, Instagram, extraordinary.fitness, and see you next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Bye.